But Squirt, tell me where you at? Your motivation guy is back. Your friend, the one and only Kate Allen. You already know what time it is. I'm so hyped today because we're going to be directing tips at all you creative warriors out there that are thinking about transitioning into the world of competitive Fortnite. Yo, it's going to be a tough journey. I got to say it. But with your mechanical skills, you already won half the battle. For real. You know, the next step is really teaching you the other half. That's what we're here to teach you today. And by the end of this video, I'm telling you right now, you're going to be prepared to start tackling Arena. You got to watch the entire video, though. But, uh, you know, to really help you watch the entire video and really learn something new today that's going to take you to the next level. It's time to get my favorite candy out. What is that? It's that bunch of crunch. And now let's get this going. All right, so, you know, the first step towards changing your title from Creative Warrior to Arena Champ, you're going to need to learn the difference between each mode and what it means to get good. Yes, you can be excellent with your mechanics, but without proper experience running Arena, like, you're probably not going to get very far unless you make changes to your habits. For starters, all right, you won't have infinite building materials at your disposal and you won't have an instant respawn. We're going to go more in depth into map conservation later. Like, you must also realize that unlike Creative, where you can enter 1v1 with an opponent whenever you want, fights are going to be more spread out with plenty of players one of the third party you you're gonna have to pick and choose your battles based on how confident you feel in your loot you know not every weapon is going to be legendary right off the bat all right so let me ask you this thinking of putting your skills to the test well click on the link below to visit proguys.com this is your moment there you're gonna be able to link up with the pro level coach who can help you tap into your unrealized potential you're gonna learn from the best and master your mechanics techniques and even your loot route yo you are guaranteed to see improvement no matter what skill level you come in from whether you're a seasoned veteran or a fresh noob, you're going to find something new to discover. Meta is probably like one of the easier tasks to learn if you're coming in from creative. If you're considered a creative warrior, then odds are you have some skill with the mechanics already, and that means you're off to a good start. But the meta is something that you want to get into right away. You know, unlike creative where, you know, weapons are just added from across many seasons of Fortnite, Arena adds and gets rid of items constantly, so you need to make sure that you get a list down of everything that you can expect to encounter along the way. All right, so one recommendation to learn the meta is really watching the pros. You know, no one knows the meta better or knows how to use it well like the pros and so coming in from creative I mean, it's good to really examine how pros think and how they make decisions because you know these are the same types of decisions that you're going to be making right and so the difference between them and you is that you know they've mastered the meta already so you can just pick up plenty of information right unlike creative Fortnite also updates frequently this means having even more items into the rotation as well as some map changes that might occur between the first week of a new season and the first month these changes change how players tackle the game and if you're unprepared you might be stuck trying to play an old meta when something game-changing has been added all right, so one of the biggest new skill gaps that you're going to encounter when transferring over is game sense. You know, anybody wanting to get serious about competing in Fortnite needs to have a healthy game sense. You know, this includes skills such as rotation, map knowledge, and even knowledge of game hazards. And so the more you know about this, hey, the better off you're going to be. The best way to really boost your skills, guys, with rotation is really to learn to keep track of the timer. You know, once it hits zero, man, the storm will start closing in, and you wouldn't believe how many players get stumped because they forget to check the map and get caught in the storm if you've been playing the whole time on creative and don't remember to keep track of it you're going to be consumed by the storm before you even get a chance to rotate so keep an eye out keep moving towards the circle and make sure whenever you make a stop is to pick up more loot and beef up your inventory all right so the best way to know where to rotate on the other hand is all about knowing the map you know which poi are the most crowded and why you know which ones have the most chest are there any vehicle spawns in the direction that you're headed towards all this i'm telling you right now it's going to determine what you can hope to really gain from landing or rotating through a POI. So take for example a player with a good game sense that knows where the slurp barrels spawn and can even take advantage of a few non-boxes in a nearby kitchen. They know that this is a great way to really cap off their shields and they understand that non-boxes are a great source for mushrooms and peppers. Meanwhile, a player with no actual knowledge of the map chooses a location merely because it's just close to the center of the map. They run around looking for chests, you know, but forget to really hit the ammo boxes or harvest material. So the first player is more likely to succeed while the second player might have a hard time using builds or just taking advantage of buffs that's okay though it's all a learning process and the more experience that you have in the game the less you're gonna have to think about it because it's just gonna be in the back of your mind all right, so map conservation can be difficult to adjust to when it comes to your building mechanics. Whew. You know, creative gives players an infinite amount of materials to really work with, ranging from wood, stone, and steel. However, in Arena Man, part of the game revolves on finding a good source of mats so you can fill up throughout the match. And so the problem here, and I mean like right here, is that you have no control over how many mats you burn through as you play. Luckily, we know exactly how to get you right for this new robot. First of all, like you're gonna need to learn how to build smarter and not flashier. Like if you can teach 
yourself to only build when you need to, you can save so much mats. You also need to learn when to fight and when not to take the fights. This is where the mats really start to dwindle. You know, choose your pieces wisely and just try to brush up on your piece control. And so the more efficient that you are at this, man, I'm telling you, the better you're gonna become at mat conservation. Knowing where to harvest materials is the second most important thing that you need to know about mat conservation. Like if you know where to harvest materials, then you're gonna be able to stock up during the early stages of the match. But the number one skill that you need to learn if you wanna conserve mats in Battle Royale is actually where to find mats when there are no other sources available. This means being able to use your fighting skills and having the right tools at your disposal to get a refresh. Sometimes, man, you're gonna be able to pop an opponent and just take their equipment, but other times, an opponent's gonna be far away when you eliminate them and you might just get sniped or beaten by an opponent when you least expect it. That's the most horrible thing. So learning how to secure a refresh before taking it is a viable skill. Knowing how to use the Spider-Man Mythics or the Harpoon Guns to bring the refresh to you is another. All right, so we've talked about FPS and ping before and how it shifts from Creative to Arena. The more players are in a match and the more the game has to render, you're gonna see a small change in frames as well as ping. Because of this, guys, Creative is known for having more fluid movement, but this can be somewhat of a detriment if you don't prepare for it. Like if you're good with your building mechanics and you know you could do some really terrific editing on Creative, it's usually because your muscle memory has adapted to the timing required to pull this off. If you can shift that slightly, it can throw that off, which in turn results in more missed edits. This is part of the reason many pros choose to stick with their settings once they've grown accustomed to them. You know, it's also the reason why so many creative warriors find themselves going through a really rough patch whenever they try to break into a more competitive career. To adjust to this, guys, you're gonna need to work on your muscle memory once more. If you aren't already doing so, you might also wanna consider using an ethernet cable instead of Wi-Fi in order to minimize the ping. Hopefully though, like you won't have too much trouble with ping and the FPS can be boosted by just tweaking a few of the graphical settings if it becomes too cumbersome. All right, so the best way to really get your hands dirty, man, is to practice arena and understand what you need to get out of it. All right, so for starters, unlike creative, your arena score is what ends up showing off your status. The number of arena points is also going to affect the type of players that's gonna to wanna to team up with you. And so as a creative warrior, you have the mechanical skills to really back yourself up, but unless you manage to make it to the Champions League and really raise those points above the minimum requirements, then they're gonna most likely be other players that fit the team player mold better than you. If you wanna take part in more than just solo cash cups, then you're going to need strong allies that can help you train but also take another challenges together. All right, so before we drop you off today, don't forget to visit ProGuys.com and get in touch with our coaches. Let's work together to make a pro out of you. Butch Chris, tell me where you at. Your motivation guy is back. Yo, that wraps up everything today. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and uh, also feel free to leave a comment and just let us know if there's anything that you would be interested in learning more about. Remember, my friends, for you creative warriors out there, the battle is already half won, right? What you need to focus on is really learning the rules of Battle Royale. Like, do this, and you're going to find yourself rising the ranks just so quickly. Eventually, you're going to hit Champions League, and you're going to be able to start playing tournaments. But you got to believe in yourself or nobody else will. Hey, connect with me on my Instagram at your motivation guy. Man, I believe in you guys. I'll see you soon. Peace.